The vote was unanimous and the path is clear. A massive new development, including nearly 12,000 homes, has gotten the go for Oahu's west side. This comes after an all-day hearing at Honolulu Hale. KITV4's Andrew Pereira was there. He joins us with the latest development. Well, Paul and Yunjie, a whole Pili opponent is already threatening a lawsuit after today's unanimous council vote. Nearly 1,300 acres of prime ag land is now rezoned for residential and business use after a 9 to 0 vote by the Honolulu City Council. Supporters say the 11,750 homes that will be built by developer D.R. Horton is desperately needed. 30% of the homes, or 3,525 units, will be sold as affordable, in addition to 230 affordable rentals. I have been in support of this project since its beginning. Why? Because here we are 10 years later with the housing shortage which, as you know, drives the cost of home prices even higher, which in turn either puts our people at risk of being homeless or having to leave Hawaii. I'm not the only one that supports Ho'opili. I have here uh, a portion of the 4,000 signatures that also support Ho'opili. But Ho'opili opponents say Oahu needs to grow more of its own food instead of growing traffic. It is the best agricultural land, not only in Hawaii, in the whole country. There you can grow crops there that you cannot grow anywhere else. That the main reason why you've come to this decision to accept Bill 3 as is, is because your heart and your mind is out of alignment. And you're not thinking for the future. You're thinking about short-term gains that will affect us permanently in the future. Under an agreement between the city and D.R. Horton, the developer must fund construction of an extra lane of traffic on both sides of the H-1 freeway from Kunia Road to the Waiava Interchange, as well as other traffic mitigation measures. The extra freeway lanes are required before the last of the first 5,000 homes is built. Even so, former state lawmaker and local attorney John Carroll says he may file a lawsuit against the project. Under Article 11, Section 3 of the Hawaii Constitution, it clearly states that the state shall conserve and protect agricultural land. And it's such a clear-cut matter to me that I'm willing to, you know, spend what years I've got left to take care of that. I think that, uh, you know, there are other options, too. We, uh, the conditions of the Land Use Commission have been broken. Uh, we do plan on, uh, if necessary, going back to the Land Use Commission with a motion to show cause why the land should not revert. The whole Pili project is part of Oahu's general plan and falls within the urban growth boundary. The build-out will come in phases and is expected to take 20 years.